One of the most common challenges I see with new moms is sore nipples. So I really want to differentiate what's normal and what's not normal. Normal soreness can occur in those first few days of breastfeeding. It should only last for the first few seconds when baby initially latches, but then it should subside. We don't want it lasting the entire breastfeeding session. It should peak around day three, four, five, when baby is really cluster feeding. But again, by the end of week one, that soreness should pretty much be gone. Normal soreness, our nipple skin should be intact, meaning no cracking, no blisters, no bleeding. That may be common, but it's definitely not normal. We also want to make sure that the nipple is round when baby unlatches. This means it shouldn't have any lines or be flattened or look like the tip of a lipstick. That is a sign that baby probably has a shallow latch and that is why you're in pain. So it's normal to have sore nipples at the beginning of a breastfeeding journey, but we don't want it to be painful. More often than not, nipple pain is caused by a shallow latch. So we can do a few things to help that right away. We want to make sure baby is nice and close to mama. Sometimes mom has baby in a swaddle or um, on a pillow just too far away. So getting baby nice and close is really helpful. I can't tell you how much areola you should or shouldn't see because everybody's anatomy is different. But the bottom line is that baby should have more than just the nipple and some of that areola should be in baby's mouth. Tips for good latch include baby having a wide open mouth, having more than just nipple in their mouth, and making sure that baby's lips are flanged out and not tucked in because that can feel really pinchy to mom. It's important for mom to remember she's bringing baby to her. She's not trying to put her breast in baby's mouth. One other cause of nipple pain can be that baby has a tongue tie. So if everything looks good from the outside and everyone is telling you that the latch is right, but you're still in pain, trust your gut and seek help. Ask your healthcare provider, ask a lactation consultant, just to check out baby's mouth and rule out a tongue tie. So what do we do if we do have sore or painful nipples? We want to make sure we continue to empty the breasts every three hours so that we protect our milk supply, but we need to get you healed up. So tip number one, hand express some breast milk and just apply that to the nipple and let it air dry. Breast milk is magic and is going to help you heal. You can also apply pure lanolin to nipples. This is safe for baby and will also help make you feel better. You can use something called a breast shell to protect your nipples from actually hitting your shirt or your bra, but still allowing air to circulate. Moms can buy gel pads. These are healing and feel cold, and many mamas report that they're very helpful in those early sore days. If the nipple trauma is significant and not healing, I would urge you to call your healthcare provider. You may need a prescription ointment. If latching is too painful, I want you to consider pumping or hand expressing every three hours instead. Remember, we want to protect your milk supply and provide breast milk for baby while you heal and seek help if you need. You could also try nursing with a nipple shield. Lactation professionals have a very mixed feeling on using nipple shields, but if it enables you to continue breastfeeding until you're able to address the cause of the nipple pain, like a latch issue, or a tongue tie, then for me, the pros outweigh the cons for many new moms. But this is something you should think about and consider and do your research on. If you're in pain, it's really important to seek help. You don't need to suffer through. Get assistance from an experienced certified lactation consultant who can help with baby's latch, rule out a tongue tie. There's no need to stress, it's okay. We're here to give you information about the most common breastfeeding challenges, how to overcome them quickly, and get back on track.